the first most useful analysis of thermal radiation was analyzed and concluded experimentally in form of Stephen's law. We can simply state this law is stated as based on several experiments Stephen concluded this relation that total amount of thermal radiation power that is the amount of radiation energy per unit time from a body is directly proportional to the fourth power of its absolute temperature and always remember when we are talking about the radiation power from a body, say when a body is heated to a temperature T, it radiates heat that is electromagnetic radiation to its surrounding, always remember this that this radiation is emitted from the surface of body, so always keep in mind whenever we are talking about radiation, it is always from surface of body. When we talk about the radiation energy which is coming out, so we can simply write radiation power per meter square or per unit of its surface area, we can write PR is directly proportional to T2 power 4 as given by Stephen's law and this radiation power can be written as sigma t2 power 4 where sigma is a proportionality constant which we call as Stephen's constant. This Stephen's constant is having a specific value, it is also universal constant given as 5.67 into 10 to power minus 8 watt per kelvin to power 4 meter square and here when we talk about this radiation power which is emitted from the body surface per unit area, its unit can be simply given as joule per second per unit area that is per meter square or it is watt per meter square. See by using Stephen's law we calculate the total amount of energy which is radiated by a body which is at temperature T and so its uh, total surface area is A. We can state as uh, just we have discussed the radiation power per unit surface area which is emitted from the surface of body is sigma t2 power 4 watt per meter square and uh, as we already discussed that this uh, power is emitted only from the outer surface. So, we can simply state for a body of uh, surface area A, total energy emitted per unit time or we can simply state a radiation power, this uh, direct radiation power total can be written as sigma a t2 power 4 which is measured in joule per second. This PR was the radiation power per unit surface area and if we multiply it with the total surface area, this will give us the total amount of energy which is emitted from the body per unit time. This can also be written as the rate at which energy is being flown out from the body surface in form of thermal radiations. So, it can be written as rate of flow of heat or dq by dt. After the whole analysis, it was also concluded that uh, this relation was uh, derived and uh, verified for black bodies and uh, for general bodies, if we wish to find out the total amount of energy radiated, we analyze it by using the emissivity of body. Always remember that uh, this direct analysis of uh, Stephen's law is uh, only applicable for black bodies. 
similarly if we talk about a general body we can write for a general body having emissivity e we can define its emissivity is equal to radiation from body and its ratio to a radiation from a black body which is similar to this body and at same temperature so it can be written as a radiation power from a general body divided by the radiation power from a black body so we can simply state that radiation power emitted from a general body at temperature t can be given as p r g this can be written as emissivity times a radiation power from a black body which just now we have discussed so this radiation power from a general body can be written as e sigma a t 2 power 4 which is measured in joule per second if a is the area of body and this radiation power can also be written as rate of thermal radiation energy which is emitted from the body. So in various cases we are going to use this expression directly as Stephen's law.